What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a treat for you today. We're going to be doing some chronograph tests today. And the point of this video is to get different velocity readings out of common rifle length barrels. We've got the 16 inch, a seven and a half inch and a 10 and a half inch barrel here. And the reason I want to do it, I mean, I kind of want to do this for myself basically because I want to know the velocity out of my seven and a half inch barrel, which you don't really get much information on. Advertised velocities on ammunition boxes are usually from 16 to 24 inch barrels. So when I'm doing ballistics calculations and things like that, I'm kind of estimating or going off some arbitrary number that I'm trying to calculate in my head of what the velocity could be like out of the seven and a half inch barrel. So now after today, I'll have a better idea. Anyway, let's go over the ammunition we're gonna be using today. We've got steel case, because every video is not complete without some steel case ammunition. This time from Red Army Standard, the 55 grain ammunition there that is pretty cheap and that a lot of you probably shoot just for fun. We've got, uh, let's stick with the 55 grainers. The other 55 grainer we have is an ammo called ZSR. I think it's some Turkish ammunition. Yeah, it does say a lot of information there from Turkey. <coughs> some words in Turkish. They come in 30 round boxes, so that's nice and convenient because it's about the same size as the other one, so it takes up less space on your shelf. In any case, there's not much information known about this, I think. It doesn't even tell me on here if they're 55 grains, but the listing did show that they were 55 grains, so we're gonna go off that. 55 grain, 556 ammunition, by the way. And then the other last two types of ammunition that we're gonna be using today are 62 grain ammunitions. That'll be from the Norma 556, this is the penetrator ammunition and it's got an advertised velocity of 3,020 feet per second. And I'll put all this stuff up on the video. You can see what they advertise and what we actually get. The other one is called Lahab Light Ammunition. It's ball ammunition, M855 and 5.56 caliber. It doesn't really say on here either what the velocity is, but we'll try to check it out online. This comes from actually Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, UAE. I've never had any ammunition from the UAE. It's Lahab Light Ammunition. It'll be interesting to find out what it is. Uh, it was a good price. And so we'll get an idea. I think it's good to have multiple kinds of ammunition here to kind of get a very good overall evaluation of what the advertised or what the actual velocities are going to be out of different length barrels. So let's get this test started. All right, now let's go quickly over the guns that we're going to be shooting today. This gun, a 16 inch barrel, this is a New Frontier Armory lower with a binary trigger. I'm going to test that out a little bit later too, but that's not the point of this video. Simple 16 inch workhorse there. Then this is the fellow gun guy's AR pistol. He's already removed the brace because of the ATF's new ruling on pistol braces. They are not banned. Quit saying they're banned, by the way. And this is his 10 and a half inch barrel made by Radical Firearms. Thank you to him. He's out shooting, testing different things and guns that he hasn't shot in a while. So he'll be back on the channel sometime down the road. And then this is my seven and a half inch AR pistol with a also a New Frontier Armory lower and a Black Aurora tactical upper. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do our first 10 rounds with the 16 inch barrel, 55 grain Red Army Standard steel case ammunition. And I'm not gonna be putting the camera on the velocity there, but I will be tracking all of the velocities here on the app. And let's see how we go with the 16 inch barrel. Let's see. So it didn't register that one shot because it was in binary mode. So let's just do one more. Good thing I got a little extra ammunition. Okay, that was our Red Army Standard 55 grain ammunition out of the 16 inch barrel. And for that information here, you can see that you get about 2,683 feet per second. All right, now we've got 10 rounds of the ZSR ammunition out of the 16 inch barrel here. All right, the average of all of those shots here, the ZSR ammunition out of the 16 inch barrel is 2,903 feet per second. So you can see already that the Red Army Standard has a little bit of a lesser velocity than the ZSR ammunition by about an average of 300 feet per second, just for future reference, out of a 16 inch barrel. Okay, here we go guys. Lahab ammunition, 55 grain, 16 inch barrel.
All right, there's your data there, 2,791 feet per second on average and 65 feet per second extreme spread and 19 feet per second on standard deviation. So it's a little bit higher quality ammunition, I'd say. Really good velocity there, kind of in between the Red Army Standard and the ZSR as far as 55 greeners go. All right, and now we got the Norma Tactical 62 grain. It says 3,020 feet per second. Let's see what happens. It's gonna be interesting that a higher grain bullet's gonna have more velocity than the others. We'll see. Wow, there you have it guys. So that 62 grain has an average of 2,911 feet per second, which is way more than, I would say three, way more. <laughs> I think 300 feet per second, faster than a 55 grain, a lighter weight bullet from the Red Army Standard. Pretty good ammunition, I'd say. So let's get on with the test. Do the 10 and a half inch and the seven and a half inch barrels. All right, guys, here we are with the uh, 10 and a half inch AR pistol with the Red Army Standard. See what the velocity is out of this. And we'll shoot the uh, <laughs> shoot with the tennis ball for the first time here. 2464. So already seems like you lose about 300 feet per second going down to 10 inch, 10.5 inch barrel. All right, there's your 10 rounds. Let's do it quickly, 10 rounds of the lab ammunition. Then I will give this gun back to the fellow gun, flannel gun guy who wants to go shoot it. All right, let's go ahead and try the Lahab ammunition out of the 10 and a half inch barrel. All right. Why the heck are we leaking here when I shoot? <laughs> All the water is just dripping. Oh, the concussive activity here. By the way, that average was 2,534 feet per second. All right, this one is ZSR 10.5 inch. Ten more rounds there. We got ten more rounds of Norman and we're done here. By the way, yes, I am shouldering this AR pistol with the uh, tennis ball on it and we are not yet at the end of the deadline for the ATF so all you YouTuber experts out there you can uh, kind of relax. You know you're typing away really fast on the keyboard angry comments because you can you can shoulder anything you want you know even a handgun if you wanted to it wouldn't feel too good but you could do it. Hey. Last ammunition then we hand the gun off so Norma 62 grain out of the 10 point Five inch barrel. I mean, I realize why it does that because you can have the flash can on. <laughs> My other gun was not like that. Anyway, I'm surprised that this heavier grain ammunition has higher velocity, even out of the other two barrels that I'm seeing so far, than a typical 55 grain bullet. But okay, the gun is clear. We'll hand it back over to the flannel gun guy who is gonna go have some fun now. See you guys have fun. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna whip out the AR pistol, 7.5 inch barrel. All right, here we go. The temperature is rising if you're noticing when you're seeing my screenshots of the ammo test. So right now we're about 59 degrees, but you know, we're still in uh, within our acceptable range, I think of different variations there that that shouldn't you know, completely change our results that we're getting today. So now we got the Red Army Standard 223 ammunition out of the seven and a half inch AR pistol. All right, we get about 2,000 here, it looks like. 2,104 feet per second. Next, we will do the Lahab ammunition. 55 grain, 556 five, ammunition out of the seven and a half inch barrel. All right. And round ZSR ammunition. Let's make sure we type it into here. All right, ZSR ammunition, last one here. Oh, actually, I think we got the Norma still left. So ZSR ammunition, 7.5 inch barrel. Twenty-three. All right, I think we're at about 2289 feet per second there. All right, last test here. 
Normal ammunition, seven and a half inch barrel. And it's crazy, still get a lot of velocity. All right, so we've completed the test. Let's take a look at the results and have a summary. All right, so let's first take a look at the Red Army Standard 55 grain .223 Remington ammunition. So there you can see, obviously, that the velocities increase versus the barrel lengths. So for the seven and a half inch barrel, we were getting 2,104 feet per second, and then we increased about 300 feet per second for the 10 and a half inch, and then just about 200, almost 300 feet per second again for the 16 inch barrels. The bottom three graphs there kind of show the spread that you can see in the orange. We get about the average range of the velocities. And you can see that orange is a pretty wide area compared to some of the ammunitions you're going to see here later. For the ZSR ammunition, the other 55 grain, you can see it's 2209, 2209 feet per second for seven and a half inch, 2640 feet per second for the 10 and a half inch barrel, and then almost 3000, 2903 feet per second for 16 inch barrels. And then the bottom three pictures there, Again, show the spread. I would say that more or less, this is similar to performance of the Red Army Standard, but I think a little bit more consistent than the Red Army Standard, which probably is makes sense because the steel case cheap Red Army Standard Russian stuff is usually not the best quality in general. But if you kind of compare both of the velocities, which we'll see later, this ZSR ammo runs pretty dang high. It's a really fast bullet compared to the other 55 grain ammunition from Red Army Standard. Next up is the Lahab ammunition, the 62 grain 5.56 ammunition. And there you can see that the lowest velocity for a seven and a half inch barrel was 2,236 feet per second, which is more than the Red Army standard at that barrel length and almost as good as the ZSR ammunition at that barrel length. And then at 10 and a half inch barrels, you get 2,534 feet per second. And then at 16 inches, you're up to 2,791. It's a little bit less than the ZSR, but that's just to be expected. It's a 62 grain bullet bullet, which usually the heavy bullets are a little bit slower. Now, if you look down at the bottom, those three pictures show a pretty good spread, a smaller amount of variations in that orange box, which tells me that this Lahab ammunition is a very good quality ammunition. In my opinion, I had no issues with it and I really like it as well. So you'll get pretty much some consistent results there. Now let's take a look at the other 62 grain, the Norma 5.56 ammunition. And here you can see that the average of all of the shots for the seven and a half inch barrel is 2,389 feet per second, which beats out the Lahab ammunition by about maybe 150 feet per second. And then at the 10 and a half inch barrel length, you get 2,686 feet per second. And also at the 16 inch barrel, you get the 2,911 feet per second. So this Norma ammunition at 62 grain has a higher velocity than the Lahab ammunition at the same weight of the bullet. Then let's look at the graphs at the bottom there. You can see that this, I think, is the best performing ammunition that I shot that day. You can see that in the orange. The orange is a little bit skinnier and smaller box than the previous ammunitions. Overall, this one shot quite well. And you can also see for that Norma 62 grain that you don't really lose that much velocity at the seven and a half inch versus the Red Army Standard. For example, the Norma ammunition for the seven and a half inch barrel is 2,389 and the Red Army Standard was 2,104. So you're almost getting about 280 feet per second, 300 feet per second more than you are with a 55 grain bullet. So that is really good news if you're shooting a seven and a half inch barrel and you still want the best velocity or the most velocity that you can get out of a barrel or bullet weight. So my pick would be go with the 62 grain bullets there from Norma. And then here on the very last slide that I have for you guys, it's the averages of velocities versus barrel length. So on the left here, we've got some line graphs. So each ammunition has its own line graph. So we've got the Norma 62 grain velocity versus barrel length. You can see where it starts at the seven and a half inch length all the way up to the 16 inch. Same for the Lahab ZSR and Red Army Standard. So here's a little bit of a better comparison so that you can compare the Norma 62 grain velocity at seven and a half inch is still a lot hotter and faster than the Red Army Standard and the ZSR 55 grain bullets. Over there on the right, you have the velocity versus barrel versus ammo. So here you can also see clearly that the fastest bullets overall were the Norma ammunition and the ZSR 55 grain. Coming at a little bit slower velocities are the Lahab bullets and the Red Army Standard in last place. 
So again, the point of this video was basically to get the velocities out of different lengths so that I'll have accurate information when I type them into certain ballistics calculators to calculate bullet drop, bullet trajectories, and things of the sort. So hopefully this video can also help you figure out as well what numbers to use based on what type of ammunition you're using in different barrel lengths. Well, I hope this video was very informative for you guys so that you could compare the velocity changes and differences amongst a few different types of ammunitions and grains across a different variety of barrel lengths. We all know that barrel lengths affects velocity, but I don't know exactly what the velocity is when I get down to a shorter barrel because it's not advertised on the websites. So now hopefully this video can help you understand what different types of velocities are. If you're using this type of ammunition, then you can go ahead and use these velocities in any of your ballistics calculations. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. If you don't like the video, go ahead and click the thumbs down button twice. If you got some comments or questions or anything like that regarding the test today, let me know in the comments section and we'll see you guys in the next video.